What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you so much for joining us, I really appreciate it. Today's episode is all about moving a POE camera from one location to another. Now there's several reasons why you may wanna do this. Maybe want the camera a little bit closer, a little further away, maybe a little higher or a little lower. Also things can change in your environment, like a tree got bigger or a bush got bushier or maybe you added something to the environment like we did. We added a patio to our backyard that blocked one of our cameras. So for us, we had to move that camera about 12 feet away. Now today I'll show you every step of the process, the correct steps to get this done quickly, easily, in only one trip to the act. That's right, one trip. And this works with any POE camera. So without further ado, let's get it done. Oh and guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. All right, step one, you're gonna need some tools, like a ladder, cordless drill, and definitely some patience. All right, step two, remove the POE camera that you're gonna move. This rear link camera unscrews from the mounting bracket. And then next, we remove the mounting bracket. Just a few screws. It's hot up here, hot. This particular rear link camera has three wires attached to the end of it. A POE connection, a reset button, and a DC power connection. And step three, remember, you're gonna need some patience. So make sure you bring some. <laughs> there we go. Now I gotta get the ethernet cable. And there's that ethernet cable. Okay, the location for the camera will probably be like right here. That's the probably location so you can see the entire pool. I may go a little further back to get the angle here. So maybe like right around here. I'll drill the hole large enough. I'll install the plate, install the camera, put the wires inside. And all I have to do is pull that wire out over there in the attic, bring it around and plug it in here, and we're good to go. All right, we got our hammer, our cordless drill, our drill bits. We have our wall anchors and our screws, and we're good to go. First thing, drill a hole through here. We're gonna need to Find the stud. So we're pretty good here. The stud should be right here. Looks right there, probably. Yeah, so here's the stud. We're gonna go here or here. So, we'll figure this. Like this. So turn it more like that. And you definitely wanna test out the location yeah. before you start drilling. And make sure the drill bit you're going to use is very large. The hole has to be big enough for the wires to go through. And FYI, drilling through stucco takes a little bit of time. So now we'll attach the mounting bracket. All I have to do is place the bracket on the wall and center it over the hole. Then drill four guide holes. Now I can remove the bracket and use the correct size drill bit for the wall anchors. Next, tap in all four wall anchors. And guys, if you're still watching the video, thank you very much, I appreciate it. And make sure to like and share this video, and of course, subscribe. Thanks. So at this point, you may have noticed I only used three screws to mount this bracket. Well, I couldn't find the fourth screw. And I'm guessing the patio cover must have ate it, because it's nowhere to be found. But lucky enough, three screws is plenty to hold this bracket. And if and when I find that last screw, I'll install it. So now push all the cords in the hole going into the attic. And now attach the camera to the bracket. And make your adjustments. I'll make my final adjustment once the camera is connected to the NVR system. That should be it right there. Point down here. Perfect. Done. You can see the old location over there. Now we're gonna pull that wire through the wall, walk over here in the attic, and just plug it in. 
so at this point I'm going to push the wire into the attic. I don't want the end of the Ethernet cable right. to get caught or stuck in this hole. It might damage the end of the cable. And the whole point is to make this as easy as possible, so I don't want to re-terminate the end of that cable. And once I'm done moving the camera and setting everything up, I'll come back and patch these holes and paint them. You'll never know it was there. Alright, let's go to the attic and get this all finished. So the plan is to find that wire that I pushed into the attic and then plug it into the new camera location. So guys, once again, I want to say be careful in your attic. Take your time. And you have to walk on the rafters. And as you can see, I have to walk all the way to the end of that wall. And then I have to find that ethernet cable that I pushed back into the wall. All right, I'm heading over that way. Um, I'm gonna turn this off now. I'll bring my camera over there to show you what I'm doing once I get there, hopefully, if I have a chance. If not, I gotta crawl, walk my way on these rafters down here over slowly, so wish me luck. All right. I'm gonna start working my way over here. You can see the rafters are exposed. I'll walk on them. I'll pull the cord through. I get to the wall over there, plug it in, come back. Whew. Holy mackerel. It is hot. All right, I pulled the, uh, from over here, I pulled it. Now we have this one I just gotta find now down here where the POE from the camera is. That should be easy. Just hard to get there, but I'm gonna do it. All right, guys. There it is. It was down there. And that's plugged in here. That's a lot of work getting here. I didn't want to film the whole thing. It was really brutal. It's hot. It's about 95 degrees up here. Anyways, we're good to go. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too great. Yeah, just put everything over here, back over it. Oh, the insulation. And I've got a long way to go. All right, I'll get back down the from the attic, we'll talk later. Oh, oh boy. I'm telling you. That was pain. Getting those, into those rafters. That's the biggest, hardest part. Just trying to find all the rafters. Get underneath these beams. It's tough. Whew. Oh man. It seems short over there, but it's really a long, really a long walk under these beams. In this heat. It feel good to get downstairs. Whew, hallelujah. Last thing I want to do is make my adjustments. I can angle the camera a little bit better, so I'm gonna go up there and do that. So now this camera's connected to the MVR system, I can make my final adjustments while viewing the Real Link app on my phone. If you can see it or not. Here's a better view of the camera from our big screen TV. This is the best angle possible for this location. You can see the entire pool, including the pool deck and the basketball court. And once again, here's the location of our new installation. And guys, all these steps I've shown you work for any POE camera. Just be careful in your attic. All right, guys, we're all done here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video real soon.